it. This is what they sent us? Who shot this crap? Bunch of cops standing around staring at each other. What else you got? Oh, great. Biggest murder story since LJ, and we're shooting other crews. Tragedy, definitely. I have it ready for 11. about a month, a month and a half. You know they ain't getting me in on that. Yeah. Say, you must have a fascinating life. You can afford to pass this one off. Well, that's my point. They let this one off for shooting a guy just because he's getting a little something on the side. I'm gonna have to live in another country. But if he found her with a man and shot her, that would be okay, right? Well, you gotta look at what's involved, right? What I'm trying to say is we shouldn't be talking about this. Oh, yeah, you heard anybody who hasn't talked about this in the last month and a half? I understand. But we might be selected for the jury. I guess what you gotta ask yourself is what you'd do if your husband was running around. I'd do what she did in a short minute. No, I'd like to anyway. You know, something stopped me. Hey, more power to her, though. I'll say that much. And what about you? Your husband ever cheat on you? Never. You know that? Yes, I do. What about you? My husband's dead. All right, take your seat. This is what they sent you. Saw you on TV in that one. Looked good. Is my wife with another man? 
Have I ever been with another woman? Look, I don't tell this stuff to my priest. Excuse me, sir. You want to just fill in the form, please? Fill in the form, hey, I'm please. not filling this in. This stuff is personal. Well, answer what you want and discuss the rest with the judge. I'm going to talk to him, boy. Judge, this is between me and my wife, okay? You don't pay me enough for this kind of stuff. We've got to take a long, hard look at women married over 10 years. All our surveys say that's where we're getting our best response. Probably wishing they'd done it themselves. <laughs> I suspect that's precisely what we're tapping into. Something else. When we ask the same subjects to rate their marriages one to ten at the extremes, we correlate very well with a positive attitude toward our client. Well, which extremes? High or low? Both. Very good marriages, very bad marriages. Interesting, huh? Hey, when? Come on in. <laughs> uh, just, uh, surveys. This young lady's come up with some very interesting demographics. Carry on. Infidelity. It gives us some very tricky correlations that could cut either way. Obviously, the more we know about these people, the better. As soon as we start getting some names from the jury pool, I want neighbors talked to, beauticians in beauty parlors, and teachers at their children's schools. If their husbands are running around, someone will know. What about men on the jury? The women jurors are going to give us the most options. So far, um... I haven't... Well, we haven't been able to isolate... Any man that doesn't want to see me hanged? Well, locked up for the rest of your life. But, yeah, that's the general picture. Yeah. Is it all right if I sit here? Yeah, please, 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 please sit down. Thank you. You know the thing that drives me crazy about jury duty? I get all these people in the same room together. And the one thing they have in common, they can't talk about. <laughs> well, why don't we just go around the table and introduce ourselves? My name's Fletcher. Fletcher Lowe. Uh, I'm Naomi Budden. Nolan James. <clears throat> I'm Alice Bell. Uh, listen. What I was wondering about was, uh, in the newspaper this morning, they said they might sequester us? Well, I don't think they mean us. I think it means the jury once they're selected. But I, I heard it might be that place down on South Street. Wait a second, a hotel? I hope mm. it's a good one. If it's a problem for you, I'm sure you could talk to somebody. Well, how long are we going to be here? Well, all I know is, if I get to stay in a hotel, my wife's going to kill me. <laughs> I haven't taken her any place in ten years. <laughs> <laughs> when I call your name, please take your coats and all your belongings and proceed to the door. The officer there will take you to court. Winston Barnes, Alfred Chu, Naomi Budden, Alice Bell. There's a fair likelihood when this trial commences that the jury will be sequestered. Our best estimate at this time is that the trial will take about a month. So I need a show of hands from those of you for whom this could prove to be an undue burden. The evidence may show that the defendant's husband was having an affair. Would this affect your decision whether she was guilty or not guilty of murder, Mr. Weber? 
Uh, no. No effect. If a man cheats on his wife, do you think that justifies her killing him? Miss Budden? Uh, no. No, I wouldn't. Mrs. Bell, is marital fidelity important to you? Yes, it is. So that if a man cheated on his wife, something happened, you might say that he had it coming. I wouldn't say so, no. Juror number eight, college student, very timid, has trouble making up her mind, impressionable. You're saying bumper. Tough calls. She seems to take her cue from the woman in the two-seat, who's an interesting case. Alice Bell. I don't give that much of a damn about interesting. <laughs> what I'm saying is if we get the one, we get the other. No, she makes me nervous. I, I, I like the way she looked at me. I trust her. Here they come! <laughs> How many of you have watched Wynne Atwood's show on television? Did you form an opinion what she's like, Mrs. Carlucci? I think she's terrific. I would consider it a privilege to serve on Wynne Atwood's jury. Did you form an opinion, Ms. Vinograd? No. Not really. Mr. Lowe? Well, she seems kind of smart, I guess. So you like her? Well, I, I don't usually watch that kind of show. You know, sometimes it just comes on. <laughs> you want to accept number three? Are you kidding? She kept looking at the defense table. I thought she was going to ask if she could take Atwood home with her. <laughs> what about number seven? Snapped off her answers. She seems solid. She's great. Guaranteed they'll throw her off. I'm not sure about the black guy, number nine. Not kicking any men off this jury, Wayland. Uh, Mr. James, have you read about this case? Um, yeah. I mean, I know she killed him. Well, that's all right. We're not contesting the fact that Mrs. Atwood shot her husband. In fact, it was Mrs. Atwood who called the police. Your Honor, is he testifying? Yes, ask a question, Mr. Franciscus. And Mr. James, the circumstances under which the shooting occurred and the state of mind of Ms. Atwood at the time are essential elements in determining whether it's first-degree murder, second-degree murder, or manslaughter. Now, will you be able to follow the court's instructions on that? I'll try. But basically, you think murder is murder? Pretty much, yeah. So if the judge instructed you... He's already you... said he would try to follow the court's instructions. Your Honor, approach. I guess I gave him something to think about, huh? I don't see how the bias could be clearer, Your Honor. He said he could follow the court's orders. He knows how to answer the question. That's all that means. Mr. Franciscus, nothing precludes a juror from having opinions as long as they're not fixed opinions. Well, murder is murder. Sounds fixed to me. Will you keep your voice down? He said he would follow the court's instructions. Raise your right hand. Do you and each of you solemnly swear that you will well and truly try the cause now pending before this court and render a true and just verdict therein according to the evidence and instructions of the court? So help you God. I do. Let me tell you what this is and what this isn't. This is a murder trial, and we, the prosecution, have to prove to you that on May 18th, Wynne Atwood, the defendant sitting right over there, shot and killed Gregory Toland, the man to whom she was married for 10 years. The evidence will show that Wynne Atwood premeditated this murder. She made a plan, she went ahead with this plan, and she knew what she was doing. The law recognizes that even in the taking of a life, there are degrees to a crime. One of the sacred foundations of our system of justice is the principle.